How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Day Dave and this is a map tour for a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 called Lemuria Farm. And we're going to start with the description from the mod hub and it reads, Lemuria Farm is a Brazilian map with relief and real PDA of the region of the municipality of Lemuria, state of Sao Paulo. This map has medium and small fields, all with missions as well as fields for forestry. Added three new crops, rice, carioca beans, and alfalfa. Starting as a new farmer, you will start with a few animals and vehicles. The machine workshop is located at the city's gas station. City with a market that accepts various products. Fuel locations is attached to the vehicle workshop. Grains in general can be sold in the two warehouses on the map. The covered market accepts various products such as potatoes, beets, milk, and pallets and supports DLCs. If you need limestones, take a, take a trailer to the limestone cellar and you can also sell stones there. Bales in general can be sold at the Celerio. The sell milk, to sell milk, go to the covered market or at a dairy to produce milk products. You start with one main headquarters containing sheds to store your machinery as well as a house to sleep in, one silo to store grains, a chicken pasture, and a fuel tank. All lands on the map can be purchased. Objects present, objects present in the headquarters can be sold for customizations. The map has a sugarcane factory where you can sell sugarcane and buy venassi and felt cake. There is no snow on this map. The winter is in this region is just cold and dry. Have a good time. There are mods required to, for this map, starting with the EC. ESC Large Shed by DH Modding, The Farm Entrance by Namag Mods, Bunker Silo Set by Razak, Farmhouse by Namag Mods, South Brazilian Warehouse by ML Modding, DH Modding, Forestry Cell Point by Gamers Design, Brazilian Fence Pack by Zero Eito, Pig Feed Buying Station by Grangerio and Virgemini Modding, and Lost Gamer. Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation by Hispano. Confining Cows by Grangerio, Virgemini Modding, and Lost Gamer. Small Farming Pack by Holtz FS. Southern Brazil Shed by Gain FS. And BR Metal Shed by Gain FS. This map was created by An Andrad ML Modding, Wesley Franco, and Rena Grados modding. And this map is 326.51 megabytes to download. And if we take a look at the map, this is what it looks like. We start out here pretty much in the center of the map on our main starting farm. Uh, field prices do vary on this map, starting out with, let's see, fields number 14 for 61,000. We've got field 12 here for 44,000. Uh, field 11 for 90, 58,000, 225,000. As we get bigger and bigger, it gets more and more expensive all the way. Let's see. Let's go to the slow one, 67,000, 95. So you do get a fair bit of small introductory priced fields, but we do get up to three quarters of a million dollars here. $775,000 for the big circular field in the north. Now, we start out by owning farmland number one. It contains our starting farm and four individual fields. Fields number 14, 15, 16, and 33. All of them have oats in them, and they're all ready to harvest. As was mentioned in the beginning of the description there, there are three new products. The alfalfa, the beans, and the rice. And I believe some of them are planted and others are not. And you can see the alfalfa fields are up here. Uh, the beans are here in the kind of western portion. And rice are here in these two fields. So, And I think that's subject to change based on the time that you load in. So that might change depending on where you are. You can purchase all areas on this map. You do start out with animal pens. You can see here quite a bit of animal pens and quite a bit of animals as well 
Uh, contracts are available on this map. No production chains to start out with, but there are collectibles, 20 of them to be precise. If we take a look at mods specific to this map, under the Buy menu, you do see the mods and DLCs, but is for the Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation System, um, not for mods specific to this map. If we take a look on the Build menu, let's see, starting under buildings here, we have nothing under all these tabs here. Under productions, nothing under all these tabs. Under animals, though, nothing under cows. But if we look under horses, we do have one listed here for Lemuria Farm. Nothing under pigs, sheep, chickens, bees, or others. Uh, there is nothing under decorations whatsoever, but under landscaping. If we take a look here, we do have several additional painting swatches. Quite a few, actually. Uh, nothing under trees, but under plants, you will see several additional... Uh, I'm sorry, several uh, mods specific to this map here. Now, we do start here on the starting farm, so let's go ahead and take a look at our starting equipment. If we take a look under the buy menu, under owned items. Under small tractors, we have a John Deere 6120M. Medium tractors, John Deere 6250R. Harvesters, the John Deere T560. Cars, we have a Lizard Pickup 2017, as well as the John Deere XUV 865M. Trailers, the Branther TA23065 to Power Tube Plus. Auger Wagons, the Bergman GTW330, header for our John Deere, Subsoiler, the Agrisim Combi Plow Gold 4 Meter, the Planters, we have the John Deere 1775 and, uh, 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 NT, Sprayers, we have a Lizard Pivot, as well as the Hardy Mega 1200L, uh, fertilizer spreaders with the Braid LK 105, manure spreaders with the Breary Manure Director 14, slurry tanks we have the Farm Tech Super Cease 800, animals we have the K brand Premur 15070M, that's the straw thrower, we have the K brand RA142, this is a uh, mixing wagon, and as you can see, it does take several additional crops. Uh, looks like alfalfa and alfalfa hay are the two specific ones for this one. We also have a Lizard MKS-8 tanker trailer. And under front loaders, we have the John Deere 603R. And that is everything. Now, if we take a look around the farm here, going inside the house... Off to the left side here, we have a wardrobe trigger here and a sleep trigger in here. We walk back out. Around the side here, we have a water tank. Around this side, we have a horse pasture with room for 16 horses, but we already have two in here. We have our feed goes in here. Water goes in here, and you do start out with some feed and water. Come out this side here. Open the gate. Now, if I go down this trail over here, we'll kind of just go out there. You'll see a nice little water point in the cow pasture there. A couple of bunker silos built into the hillside right here let's see over here we have our silo output is right here but the input is tucked away right here now coming over this side we have a cow barn Room for 200, but we have 20 in here already. Slurry output is there. We have a manure heap right here. You can see we do have some manure already tucked away in here. Feed goes here, and I believe also straw can go in here as well. We do have a washing station right here. We go up this little ramp. Some storage. Some of our equipment is tucked away in here as well. Let's see. So over here, we have a cow barn. Room for 500 cows. We have 40 in here. A slurry output here. 
I believe that's straw input right there. You can get in right here. We have another shed that's kind of butted up right against each other. Over here are our feed and straw triggers for both. So I'm not quite sure, actually, now that I kind of said this out loud, if this is straw or... Hmm. No, because that's an output. Maybe this is manure? This is definitely slurry. Let's see. I'm going here. We have another access point for our cows. Another 500. We already have 40, so we have 80 total. Room for 1,000 in these two. Um, I don't see where is the other output for slurry. Oh, there it is. It's right on the other side. There it is. So, yeah, there's a slurry output there. There's a slurry output there. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Anyways. And that's it for this portion of the farm. Now, the farm is kind of broken up into two separate areas. We're going to go to the next area on the main farm. So this it actually spread is spread out. It's a huge, huge farm. It's very, very large. You can see, if we look at the map real quick, uh, right here, this is all the area that you own. You own tons and tons of land to start out with. You have three of your four fields over in this corner here. We've only explored this portion of the map so far. So now I'm going to go over here, grab my pickup, and we're going to make our way around the map. But like I said, we're going to go to that first uh, separate area of our main farm. Because there, there is a couple of things over there we need to go check out. Go ahead and come over here. I'm going to follow this to the main road right over in this direction. Yeehaw! All right. Come in here. Now this is the second part of the main farm. Bit of storage here. We have a fuel tank right there. And then here we have another silo. So we have two silos on this farm. Now in the description it said that there was a chicken barn. So let me read that part of it real quick. Um, where was it? Ah. You start with one main headquarters containing sheds to store your machineries as well as house to sleep in, one silo to store grain, a chicken pasture, and a fuel tank. I have no idea where a chicken pasture is. I've been all around this map looking for it. There's actually two silos. You can see one here and one here. Nope, here. Silo with covered hopper. I mean... And we do own it. I mean, we do own this land, we own that silo, we own this silo. So I have no idea, maybe if this was a translation issue or something. No idea. But we have cows and horses. That's it. So now we're going to head out. And we have a little ways to go before we get to the next point of interest. You get a bit of a rough transition right up here. Goes from paved road to dirt road. And pretty rough road too, as you can see. And back to paved. Now we follow this all the way around. Got the big circular field to my right. And that has your uh, pivot system right there. You can see we're passing right by it there. The 
Whoops. Try not to go crashing through a fence. Cross this bridge. And we're starting to approach our next point of interest. All right. So go over that. Now here we have a gas station. You can see. And then tucked away over here is a repair trigger right here. Let's see, actually. Let's go over this way. So this is kind of a weird shop area. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. So we have our main shop and our shop trigger right here. But in order to get into the area back here, you actually have to go in and around. Oh, very, very bumpy curves. You have to go up here and back here. Now here is the repair trigger for your shop. So not it's it's nothing wrong with it, just not a setup I'm used to seeing. So tucked around over here. Right there is the textile cell point. Heading down the road and over in this direction. To my right is the fair cell point. No, wait a minute. What happened there? I'm missing something. Nope, I'm sorry. I mislabeled it. So this first one here, this was the... Yeah, I completely jumped around. This was the Bale Sales Station cell point. Over here is the textile cell point. So this one here. And then back here with my truck, this is the fair cell point. Tucked away in here. So now that we are all caught up and I'm not out of sync, let's go ahead and go to the next point of interest, which is tucked away just back here. We follow this path up this hill. Oh, yeehaw. We get to the animal dealer right here. Now, if you want to purchase animals for your pens and pastures, you can go ahead and use this symbol right here, this animal dialogue symbol, or the animal dialogue symbol, same one, at your pens and pastures you already have pre-installed on the map. If you use this icon here, you will incur an additional fee. That fee is associated to a delivery fee. So essentially the animal dealer is taking the animals from this location and shipping them over to your pens and pastures, wherever they're located on your map, for you. Now, as you can see, if we look at our cow barn, for an adult cow, it's an additional $100 per cow. So you're paying that base price plus $100. It gets expensive really, really quickly. Now, if you wanna save that money, come to this location using an animal trailer Click on this icon and put the animals directly into the animal trailer. You can then deliver the animals yourself to whatever pen and pasture you want to, and you save on that, uh, that fee. The, and again, that fee adds up really, really quick. You, you, fi you figure our pens and pastures have, I believe two of them have room for 500 cows, so it's 1,000 cows. We had another one that had, uh, I believe it was room for 200. So 1,200 cows total. 1,200 cows, if you're buying all adult, adult cows at 100 bucks a pop, you're going to spend a lot of money just to have them take them for you. So good way to save on a little bit of extra money. So now, I'm going to backtrack down the 
hillside here. And now we head straight out to our next point of interest. tucked away over here that is the warehouse one cell point and this is the pig feed buying station As you can see right up there pig food so I'll head back out this way Now, as best as I can tell, this almost looks like a little dirt track right here, like a motocross track right here. It's pretty cool. I like that. Heading up this road here. Make a left. And go in here. This is the Warehouse 2 cell point. head out in this direction following this road until we get to right about here so we're going to make a right here and here we're going to be going down to the quarry as you can see Keep following this around until we get to the very bottom. Yeehaw. Right about here. All right. So, to my left, that is the debris crusher. It's where you can sell stones. And to our right is the lime station where you can buy lime. So now we have to go all the way back up and around. And now we're going to be heading off to our last point of interest. See if I can get back up the hill. Oh no. Uh-oh. Well. There we go. So I get a little bit of a running start. Alright, now we'll head right. And we'll keep heading in this direction for our last points of interest. Oh, yeehaw! Well, that's a way to make an entrance. All right, so tucked away over here, this is the liquid manure buy point. Over there, this is the Lemuria Mill cell point. So this is your uh, sugarcane cell point right here. Head around over here. 
This is your manure buy point right there. And right here is the forestry sell point. And that is it. That is Lemaria Farm. Now we're... Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and check out the map and see where we've been and what we've seen up until this point. So we started right here on our main starting farm. We checked out everything that was here at the main starting farm. We started with the farmhouse, the water tank, the horse pasture. We then went and saw the grain silo, the cow barn, the fuel tank. Actually, I think we skipped the fuel tank. It just dawned on me. Uh, another cow barn and another cow barn right there. We then took this side street all the way out to here. We saw the fuel tank and the other silo. We then came out to the main track here. We then came up and around all the way over to the main kind of town area here. Where we saw the gas station repair trigger in there. The repair shop, or sorry, the repair trigger, which was here and here at the main shop, as well as the shop trigger right there. Uh, we had the bale sales station uh, sell point. We then came up to here where we saw the textile sell point. We came over to the fair sell point and then out and around to the animal dealer. Backtrack came all the way through here where we saw the warehouse one as well as the pig feed buying station here. Came down and around out to, nope, out to this warehouse two sell point. Back down and around all the way twisting, turning around and around and around until we saw the debris crusher sell point and the lime station buy point back up and around out to the main strip. And then we saw the liquid manure sell point, AKA slurry, the Lemuria mill sell point, the manure sell buy point and the forestry sell point. And now that is everything for Lemuria Farm. Now it's time to render my opinion zero to five scale as per usual. What do I think of this map? I will be honest with you. When I f first saw this map pop up on the mod hub, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't think that just judging the book by its cover, it was going to be a good one. But then I came on, I checked this out and wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm actually very impressed with this map. It's got a lot more detail than what I thought it was going to have. It's got those just little things that just makes a map very nice. It's got nice country forestry, forestry areas. It's got some, uh, some farming available to us. It's just got a little bit of everything. It's got a nice little town slash city ish kind of thing uh, up here just ahead of us. Um, yeah, I mean, the areas that it does have, it's, it's like very built up. It feels very industrial almost. You can see here the, the silo system they got over there, that whole warehouse area there and that warehouse area there. It's just nice. It's got a nice kind of vibe around it. Um, the trees are also kind of a, a little additional thing that is of interest to me. You can see these are pines, but they just, they almost look dead, almost. Oh, helium deer. Um, so yeah, it's just a, a nice little kind of texture that's around the map. You got these, what look to be banana trees all around the map as well. Um, yeah, all in all, it's just very, very nice. The topography is really nice. The, the undulations uh, give you something to really look at and have kind of... Uh, you know, something to kind of take interest in. You've got uh, a nice color palette. You've got the nice kind of redness of the dirt that is very common on these Brazilian maps. Uh, yeah, all in all, I'm very pleased with this map. Very impressed. And a map that kind of gives you a circular pivot uh, fertilizer in, in line thing like this. That's, uh, that's definitely a bonus. You don't get those as a kind of base part of the game too terribly often. Um, another thing I like about this are just kind of the little sidetracks and roads that you get on this map. They don't necessarily take you, you know, anywhere in particular. They do, but 
you could have just had the main road off the left there and taken that, but this is just a nice little jaunt, nice little, you know, off the beaten path kind of thing. And it's nice. It's just... It's cool to be able to come all the way out in this area, have this little track here, and it's just a nice little drive. It's scenic. It's just very pleasant to be out here. You know, as we continue on. So yeah, all in all, I really enjoy it. What would I give this map? Zero to five scale, as per usual. I would probably give this map a four. I genuinely enjoy it. The undulations of the land is very, very nice. Um, you definitely feel like you're going off-roading because you got a bit of a bounce every once in a while. Like I said, this one just kind of takes you out in the middle of nowhere for no particular reason other than it's here. I like that. It's, it's There's nothing wrong with that. Um, one thing I'd be interested in knowing is the grass on this map. Are there harvestable grass out in these kind of areas that we're in? Like this area down here in the south, is this harvestable? You know, this is the other thing about this map is you can kind of build these areas up. You might be able to flatten out some land and be able to, to put placeables out here. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got a little bit of everything. You've got the ability to build things up. You've got the ability to tear things down in the in the logging. You've got uh, farming that you can do. Like, there's just a, a hint of every little aspect in this game, and it's nice. Now, I can't get back here anymore because there's a fence in my way. But again, very, very nice map. I would give this a four all day and night. I think this is a very nice job. But all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this map tour. If you did, please show them by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.